Okay, guys, tonight we have some football and some baseball on tap. And there were some unsold teams, but you know what? I ran out of time to get them up for sale before the break started. Uh, eBay was just being crazy tonight. It was not letting me invoice some people. And in fact, one of you, I know you are still waiting for a combined invoice. And I tried multiple times. And it kept giving me an error message. It would say some of the items were paid for, but yet then they would all show up as unpaid. And then I couldn't remove them from the invoice to figure out what was causing the problem. Anyway, I know one of you is still waiting for a combined invoice. Couldn't get it to you. Don't know what in the world eBay is doing. But it was not cooperating tonight, nonetheless. So we're going to open a box of 2016 Panini Gala Football, some 2017 Gold Standard, 2016 preferred football and then a third of a case of 2017 tops triple threads baseball so that's what we've got on tap tonight none of them uh, have a lot of cards in them so they be a relatively short break overall so if you're in one of the in one of the breaks down the road not to worry it won't be too far until we get to you so first up, we have one box of 2016 Panini Gala Football. This is break number seven. Of course, our eBay end date, that was tonight, 10-11, our live stream schedule. Also tonight, Wednesday, 10-11, 10-15 Eastern. Team names on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right. You will see that there are for sure some unsold uh, teams in there. They are designated as no bids buyback. And normally, uh, I like to try to start the broadcast three or four minutes early and offer a chance to buy those teams. But as I said tonight, eBay was being extremely difficult and I could not uh, get everything wrapped up in time to do that. So that's the deal. And we will, of course, put that spreadsheet up uh, again before each and every break. So if you're in one of the other breaks, we got to fix the focus. If you're on one of the other breaks, of course, um, we'll put the spreadsheet up for your break before we start it. And Cubbies fan, how are you, Cubbies fan? What's happening? On gold standard, oh boy, I got to think about that. There might have been an unsold team in gold standard, and most of them were in gala. I think there were a couple in preferred. I don't really remember if there were any in gold standard, but I'll be able to tell you... Um, Shortly, Cubby fan. I was really having some stress over that stupid invoicing on eBay tonight, and so it kind of uh, that's the thing on the front of forefront of my mind. I've kind of forgotten some of the other stuff in the interim. First out, we have of course one base card in gala. All the rest in here are hits. Our base card tonight, which is still numbered, it is uh, Jordan Reed for the Redskins, and it is number two of. 49 2 of 49 why was it your fault man <laughs> i don't think it was your fault ebay was just uh insane tonight i don't know what happened and and for real i know at least one person is still waiting on a combined invoice because it literally would not let me combine it I've been trying for like the last 30 minutes but that's a different story <laughs> for another day so um next up a little brett Favre. For the Minnesota Vikings, material, of course, numbered to 25. Looks like it says 15 of 25 down there in that lower right-hand corner. The Giants, Sterling Shepard. Poor Giants, whose like entire receiving core seems to be injured. I don't know what they're going to do. And then, and then uh, what's his head? Uh, oh, what's his name? Walked off the team. <laughs> I'm like... One of their better players, I'm blanking on his name though at the moment, just left this week. So on top of everything else, they're having a hard time. Next out for the Browns, a little Ricardo Lewis. And Ricardo is numbered to 99. Of course, uh, these are sticker autos, those uh, Sterling Shepard and that one. Here is our on-card auto, and it is for the 49ers, Charles Haley. Oh, cool. Charles Haley to 25. That's actually a really cool little hit there for um, the 49ers. And, you know, I do see a little bit of chipping mainly in the upper left up there, but you guys know by now that we're going to find that on really almost everything. 
So to recap, 49ers with the nice Charles Haley to 25. Ricardo Lewis to 99 for those Cleveland Browns who have benched poor little Deshaun Kaiser, which I think is terrible after they said at the first of the year they were going to stick by him no matter what. Sterling Shepard, that one was to 99, was it? I've forgotten. Yeah, to 99 for the Giants. And then the Brett Favre materials for the Vikes. And then, of course, our base card was, or our numbered base card was Jordan Reed for the Redskins. Shipping on that, guys, on Gala, on Gold Standard, and on Preferred, all of those were free shipping breaks, no charge to you guys as bidders. Most of you probably know, but in case you do not, uh, our free shipping items now go out once per week. So roughly a week from today, that will go out the door. That's just to keep things more affordable. It allows me to combine, you know, a week's worth of free shipping into one package so I can continue to offer free shipping on more items. Of course, if you have a, another uh, package coming in the meantime, it'll usually hitch a ride. So... Then 2017 Panini Gold Standard Football. That's what we have got up next. This is a one box break, break number 20. Tried to buy some more of this today in the place I knew that had it. Oh, brother, he was out. So I don't know. We've only got like maybe one more box left. So if I can't find some more, we're nearing the end of this one. So it looks like there were a couple of unsold teams in here. I couldn't remember Cubby's fan, but I see there that it is Cardinals and Ravens and Browns that uh, ended up that way out of gold standard. And yeah, so that's where we are. And Dan Hansen says you need some Indians mojo. We're gonna, well, we'll try to work that up for you in triple threads. And Cubby's fans said tried to wait on an invoice and got impatient. <laughs> well, I understand. I was definitely having some trouble with it tonight. Of course, the earlier breaks were all uh, free shipping breaks. So those you would, you know, those will just automatically combine at zero. But then if you were also in triple threads, of course, that break also ended later than normal tonight. So we had kind of a twofold thing going there. eBay not cooperating with me and a break ending later than normal led to uh, later than normal invoices. Well, maybe I can turn that the right way. We'll try it again. That is 249 Sam Bradford for the Vikings. Josh Malone for the Bengals, 270, I believe that said. Oh, there's a nice little hit for the Chiefs. Really, Willie Rofe, Ralph Rofe. I never say it right. Rofe or Ralph? I think it's Rofe. Well, that's what we've called him anyway. It is to 99, little Hall of Fame hit there for the Chiefs. Of course, I know who you want. I know you want Kareem Hunt, but at least you're not going home empty-handed, right? For the Falcons, numbered to 99, Desmond Trufant. That is also a sticker auto, as was the Willie Rofe. For the Chargers, Melvin Gordon, that is numbered to, does it say 49? Yeah, 40, it's 41 of 49. A little Kenny Galladay material to 199 for the Lions. And oh man, that is a nice looking card. And it is the Jags, and I know you're wishing it was Leonard Fournette, because I kind of am too, but <laughs> we got D.D. Westbrook for you. So much like the Chiefs, you're not going home empty-handed, albeit maybe you didn't pull the exact player you wanted. That is numbered to 25, uh, maybe a little ding down here, lower right, maybe a slight ding upper uh, right, but nothing too dramatic. All three patches are pretty nice looking. Overall, a nice hit. So the Jags and the Lions, the Chargers, the Falcons, and the Chiefs are our hits. And then, of course, we had our base cards uh, for the Bengals and the Vikes. 
So that is gold standard. I'm going to spend a good, uh, at least part of the day tomorrow trying to find us some more of that because I just love gold standard. That's going to roll us right into preferred football. And it's, of course, from 2016. 2017 preferred isn't out yet. But you know what did come out today? Um, ah, impeccable. I kept wanting to say immaculate. Impeccable football arrived today. And I don't have it listed yet, so I'm kind of trying to decide. Maybe I want to, uh, maybe we want to just do it through chat sometime uh, over the weekend or something. So I don't know. I'm up for I'm up for suggestions on that. So this is one box of 2016 Panini Preferred Football. This is break number one. First time we have broken it. Once again, the teams that say no bids, buy back, anything comes out for one of them, they will hang out here with me. Otherwise, if your name's next to it, it's going to be on the way to you in about seven days from now. Unless you happen to have another hit that uh, goes out in the interim. Oh, and Dave, uh, you said you had the 49ers in Gala. Yeah, that was a sweet little Charles Haley. You got a nice one out of that, Dave, for sure. And then you have... You have the Bills, the Broncos, and the 49ers in preferred. And then you've got the A's in triple threads. Okay. All right. So, Dan, you're in for some impeccable. What I'm thinking about doing, well, there's two different ways to do it, as you guys know. Uh, option number one is that we would do it as a random team. It would just be a fixed cost, uh, you know, shipping, everything included, and random teams option b is we assign a price to every team and then we would sell it out uh, at that price but via chat not uh, necessarily listing it on ebay so i don't know if you have a preference one way or the other doesn't make that much difference to me hi love and bullets one how are you paul perkins to 49 for the Giants is our first out for preferred. Next, oh, yee, gosh, I got a little ahead of me there. Next out, Malik Collins for the Cowboys. So, yeah, we wanted a Cowboy, but we wanted a different one than Malik Collins, I think. But, but Malik Collins is who we got. And it is numbered 5 of 5, so it is at least a very... Nice low numbered hit. Jarrell Adams for the Giants. And Jarrell Adams is to 199. If you can hopefully see the numbering there. Our silhouette, Paxton Lynch to 99 for the Broncos. And then our booklet. Look at that. Broncos are having themselves a little break, aren't they? This is to 199 Chris Harris Super Bowl booklet. Always cool to pull uh, the Super Bowl champions when that's your team, <laughs> which isn't going to be my Steelers this year, at least not the way it's looking. Woo! We've been stinking up the joint. Uh, a little bit of chipping, uh, particularly upper left, upper right corner on that probably more noticeable than normal just because of the fact that it's a darker color shows up more and then the paxton lynch to 99 also headed to the broncos and then we had uh, jarell adams giants i believe that was to 199 then for the cowboys our little malik collins that one is five of five low number but not the we wanted dak or zeke but we'll take it right and then Paul Perkins to 49 for the Giants. So that is 2016 Preferred. I do have another box of that. Uh, you probably see it sitting there on the table. I think it ends sometime this week also. I'm pretty sure I, I put up uh, both of those uh, close together. Because I, you know, you know how I am. I've got all these odds and ends hanging around here. And I'm trying to work my way through them. <laughs> all right, so... Next, we are headed into Triple Threads. This is three boxes of 2017 Topps Triple Threads Baseball. This is a third case break. It is break number 11 and our next to last break. We've got six boxes left. Three of them we're going to open up tonight. And then the other three 
I think our Sunday night. Don't absolutely quote me on that, but I think it's Sunday night. It's already listed at any rate. And this, of course, I, I do realize on Triple Threads, uh, there was a shipping charge involved with that. So this goes out on a little different time frame. This doesn't, uh, this doesn't wait like the free shipping does. So I'm expecting this is probably Monday getting out the door. And if I can get it to you sooner, I will. I do have a couple of case breaks that have to be out sorted and finish sorting and out the door first. So I'm going to conservatively say Monday on this and, and I will try my best to uh, actually get it out sooner, but in general, maybe plan on Monday. All right, so here's what we're going to do. If you haven't done a break with me before, you probably wondered why I was numbering those. It is because we let random decide which boxes we're going to open to just make sure everything is very above board. So tonight it chooses four, one, and six. So those are the three that we're going to tear into tonight, four, one, and six. And then the remaining three are by default the three that we will open in the final break because they're the last ones that we have. Now, we have in each of these master boxes, we're going to find a mini box. So we've got a total of six mini boxes here. Each of our mini boxes will have an autograph card and a relic card in it. So that's kind of, uh, kind of the lay of the land for triple threads if you haven't busted into one before. Yeah, Dan, I did pull some nice stuff for you out of the last one. You got the, you had the, didn't you have the two, yeah, you had the two Witsky uh, plate and the Bellinger and the Seeger. You had an excellent break the last time for sure. So tonight you're looking for uh, Francisco and Corey Kluber. Okay, Let's see what we can do. Kyle's got the Cubbies and the Red Sox. And Dave DiLorio is looking for Ricky Henderson and the A's. Hey, I'm a firm believer in just putting it out there and see what uh, see what we can find. So I like that you put your mojo in chat and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to make it happen for you. I did finally get uh, some of those loose boxes of Inception baseball listed. So they're just going to be one box breaks because there's not a lot of it. And um, it'll be free shipping, of course. And ditto with Origins. I have some loose boxes of uh, 2017 Origins football. So I got some of that started as well. And it's the same thing. We'll just do them as one box and it'll be free shipping. So... So that way we can, uh, you know, have get rid of our odds and ends and in a way that is cost effective for you. Oh, man. Cubby's fan is uh, booing the gnats in chat. Well, you know, once uh, Steven Strasburg said he was going to come back and pitch after originally saying he wasn't going to pitch, you figured it was probably going to push into a game five, so it looks like it did. Oh, Love and Bullets has uh, the Giants. Okay. You know, I was on a little hot streak with uh, Buster Posey in particular earlier this year. I was pulling Buster Posey like crazy. And I haven't pulled Buster recently, so maybe we're going to be in line for him. I see a booklet, so that is good news, and I also see a redemption, so we're definitely going to have a booklet and a redemption waiting for us. I know, isn't it awful then that I make you wait and I do that last? <laughs> I know, it's terrible. It's terrible, I know. All right, first out, Dustin Pedroa to 349 for the Boston Red Sox. You can hear my little cat down there fighting with his sister. 
Either that or he's uh, objecting to the cards we're pulling. Julio Urias to 150 for the Dodgers. Corey Seager, Jackie Robinson, and Chris Sale are our base cards out of that pack. First hit out for the Phillies. A little Steve Carlton action. And that is numbered to 27 with our uh, materials hit. Hey, it's my Cincinnati Reds, Adam Duvall. That is to 75, sticker auto and material. Although, honestly, like, what on the Reds uniform is that weird kind of beige color? Like, I don't know. I would think we'd be looking at, you know, pretty much red or gray. <laughs> but we have some beige, so, hmm. Maybe off of one of the little special uniforms they wear for certain things. Maybe that's it. Corey Seager to 250 for the Dodgers. Cespedes three to 340 for the Mets. Mr. George Brett, Jacob DeGrom, and Diaz. Next hit out, Phillies on board again, this time with Roman Quinn. And on card auto, of course, your triple, uh, your triple threads on this particular card. Got a pinstripe on each one. That's always nice. And it is numbered 250. Red Sox with Mookie Betts. That is to 36. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Kyle. It probably is off that camo uniform. Um, because, I mean, I don't know what else would possibly be that color for the Reds. I mean, you know, I see what Cubby's fan. I see what you're saying in there. But this is a family show, so I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> but for those of you who are logged in and chat, you can you can appreciate Cubby's uh, fan sense of humor there. Pedro Martinez to 340 for the Red Sox. Freddie Freeman to 25 for the Braves. A little Cal Ripken, some Big Poppy, and you Darvish. For the Cardinals, Matt Carpenter. I actually like Matt Carpenter. And that is 8 of 9. Low number hit. Sticker auto. Materials, of course, in the middle there. And I think... Think in this St. Louis Cards uh, fan that has this, that might not be his actual total correct username, but I think that's who it is. And if it is, I know you'd like that card. Justin Verlander for the Tigers to 36. Ryan Sandberg to 150 for the Cubbies. A little Yaz to 340. For the Red Sox, our base is Roberto Clemente, Mr. Corey Kluber, and Mark McGuire looking very young and thin for the A's. Andrew Tolles for the Dodgers. On card auto, triple threads, numbered 235. Meanwhile, you're just going, why couldn't it have been <laughs> Cody Bellinger? I know. Corey Kluber for the Indians. So there you go. You asked for Kluber, so here he is for you. That is numbered to 27. And we also got you a Dodger, just not the exact Dodger you're trying to conjure up, I think. Joey Votto to 150 for the Reds. Reggie Jackson to 340 for the Yankees. D-backs, Grinky. Hunter Pence for the Giants. Matt Carpenter for the Cards. Cubbies, another triple relic. You know, we hit a, a Cubs uh, triple relic out of the last break, didn't we? Or maybe it was break before last. Anyway, we've hit Cubs triple relics a few times. This one is numbered to 36. You've got, um, who's on here? Rizzo, Bryant, and Schwarber. And I think somebody up there, uh, yes, yeah, 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 see? Jasmine said uh, to pull uh, to find a Schwarber in Cubs. So there you go. We did. Hank, I have already done the 27 gold standard. Everything was pretty quick tonight. Uh, our breaks are all moving right along. 
If you hang out until I finish triple threads, I'll be happy to uh, show you the hits again if you would like. Anthony Rendon for the Nats. That is to 99 sticker auto material. Don't pull him a whole lot. Roger Maris to 250 for the Yanks. Matt Carpenter again to 340 for the Cardinals. We're getting ready to come up to our booklet and our redemption. Carlos Correa, Ozzy Smith, David Price. Let's do our redemption first. Jordan Montgomery. So I think uh, we know that's going to go to the Yankees, but you also know that I'm going to go to the checklist and verify it because that's how I roll. And our booklet, drum roll, it is for the Cubs, Addison Russell. And that is a nice looking booklet. Am I right? That's pretty sweet. And of course it is a uh, one of three. So that makes it even nicer that uh, it's not, it's limited to three and it's the first in the series, which for whatever weird reason, I always like either the first or the last in the series. And that's just a nice looking card. Very nice for Addison Russell and the Cubs. Let me run into the checklist. Well, actually, I'm not going to run anywhere because I'm too lazy for that. But I am going to switch over to the uh, to the tops checklist and just verify that Jordan Montgomery is a Yankee. So bear with me for a second. And I cannot actually see um, chat while I'm doing this, just FYI. And then next week, well... Yeah, a week from today, I guess. We're going to have an um, update, and I think we have Heritage Minor League. Isn't that next week, too? I think it is. I'm scrolling, trying to get to the right card set for Jordan Montgomery here, so bear with me. I'm getting there. It's just slow going. Oh, I do like the way that... Uh, Panini does this a little bit better in that you can just pull down the card set as opposed to having to scroll through 700,000 things. Gosh, is it still not there? Why are we not here yet? Oi. All right, we're, I'm still scrolling. I still have not found this card set. Where are you, card set? Man, that is frustrating. Am I in the wrong product? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I know. We're passing time. This stupid thing must be all the way at the bottom. Why is this good grief? Come on. Still looking. Which is so frustrating because we know he's a Yankee. I just want to see it on here. And then we'll be done. And he's not, I can't, uh, I must have scrolled past it. That just blows. I got to find it on here. All right. So, indeed, after four and a half days of scrolling <laughs> the redemption for Jordan Montgomery the Yankees which we already knew but you know um Hank you know yes you'll be able to watch it again but as I said I'll run through the hits for you again as soon as we finish this break so so no no worries so here let's recap our triple threads Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees was our redemption our booklet, nice little Addison Russell, one of three on the Letter Plus Relic book card. That is a mouthful. Tolls for the Dodgers. Roman Quinn for the Phillies. Adam Duvall for the Reds. Steve Carlton, Phillies. Anthony Rendon 
for the Nationals. Oh, when I do set him over there by himself. Mookie Betts for the Red Sox. Triple Relic for the Cubbies. Corey Kluber, Indians. Verlander, Tigers. Carpenter, number to nine for the Cardinals. And actually, you know what? We'll, we'll just do a quick little flip through on our numbered parallels. Normally, I would have done those before the hits, but I kind of forgot about it while I was busy scrolling through the checklist for six and a half hours. <laughs> so we'll just take another quick look at those. Once again, uh, triple threads probably shipping out on or about Monday. If I can get it to you faster, I will. The rest of the breaks tonight, all the breaks with free shipping, which would be preferred and gold standard and um, gala, those all had free shipping and the free shipping goes out once every six to seven days on average. So about this time next week, look for that to go out. And okay, Hank, here we go. This again is uh, gold standard. This is just recapping what we have uh, already done in gold standard because Hank jumped in after we had already gone through it. So we'll give you another look at all of that. And that's it for me guys tonight. We don't have anything else to break. I'm going to uh, work on some sorting and shipping the rest of the evening so we can get things ready to roll out the door again tomorrow and yeah so of course you know new stuff going up all the time uh hopefully i will see you guys again for another break dan i will for sure let you know on the impeccable um do you have a, a, a preference a random team versus uh fixed price teams i'm kind of leaning towards random team is uh kind of what i was thinking Oh, Marshall. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's another short one. So I will uh, do the recap again. Normally, guys, you know, I don't mind when there's short breaks. I'm happy to show you again at the end. But of course, if we're if you're ever late for a big full on like multi card break, that would be a situation where you would uh, end up seeing it later on a download or an upload rather. But on these with not very many cards, it's super easy to just uh, blow through them again. And that is what we pulled out of Preferred, Marshall. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards random myself, Dan. So I'm kind of on your page there. I think that's easier, really. And I'm, I'm really leaning towards doing that with Impeccable rather than uh, listing it as an auction straight up. I think I'm probably just going to random break it. So maybe over the weekend, I don't know. It's what I'm leaning towards. So probably... Let's think about this. Maybe this is what I'll do, Dan and Cubby's fan. I will get something together, maybe just start the broadcast a little early tomorrow night and probably tomorrow night and Friday night, maybe even Saturday night and see if we can get those spots sold that way and then we would break it on Sunday. And if I don't have them all sold by Sunday, then of course, you know, we'd have to put that up again, I guess, and move the potential break date. But it's kind of what I'm leaning towards, I believe. So. And Hank, um, yeah, did you not see when I did your recap, ma'am? Were you <laughs> did, did you take a snack break and you missed your recap? <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, you had a hit in there for um, D.D. Westbrook, I believe it was, in Gold Standard. Um, no, Dan, we wouldn't really necessarily do it as bidding. I think what will happen is I will just have a fixed price. If we do random teams, I'll just have to sit down and figure out what the price would be that would cover, um, you know, the cost of the case. It, you know, the case of cards, of course, and then the shipping and just kind of then divide that by the number of teams and we'll just do it like that. That's what I'm thinking. So that is, uh, that's what I believe we are, we'll do with Impeccable. And it's, I mean, it's not going to be like super, super inexpensive because it's an ex 
expensive case of cards, you know. I mean, it's it was not a cheap case of cards. But the good news is you might end up with one of the high-profile teams at a lower price, you know. So that's cool. All right, so, um, yeah, so let's do that. So Cubbies fan and Dan, anybody else that's interested, uh, I'll try to just jump on early tomorrow night. I'll have the pricing together by then. We'll put up uh, the opportunity to jump into it. We'll see how many spots that we sell in it. And hopefully we'll sell enough that I'll be able to just break it on Sunday if we sell them out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, that would be my plan. And if we see that it's going to sell quicker, then I'll break it faster or something like that. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment anyway. And thank you, everyone. As always, I appreciate you breaking with me, chatting with me, bidding with me, and all that stuff. I hope I will see you again on another break. I do this most nights and uh, put up new things to break almost every day. So, And new stuff comes out pretty much every week. So we're always into something around here. Take care, everyone. Have a great night, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.